Hey guys, welcome to another Pathways Wrap brought to you by What If. Uh, looking back at games uh, from the weekend, in the New South Wales Cup, they kicked off the day out there at Stadium Australia up against the Newcastle Knights in a really topsy-turvy match, uh, coming back from a big deficit down at half time uh, to unfortunately end up going down 44 to 30 in that one. Moving on to the Jersey flag game, which was the main curtain raiser on the weekend, we played a catch-up game from round two against the Manly Seagulls and in a very tight uh, contest, uh, could have gone either way. Unfortunately, also going down 10 points to four in a tight one there at the end of the match. The round for our pathways finished up on our public holiday Monday at the New South Wales Centre of Excellence with our women going back to back for the first time all year with a great win over Wentworthville. Looking ahead to our uh, wrap for the week, uh, this week our spotlight is another one of our young Black Rabbits players, Romano Cook, who only joined us at the start of the year and has also rapidly already gone through a great SG ball season to stepping into the captaincy role recently for our Jersey fleet. Let's uh, listen to Romano's journey so far and how he's enjoying his time at the Rabbitohs. I'm Romano Cook, I'm 18 years old. I play hooker for the South Sydney Rabbitohs SG ball team. Born and raised in Newcastle. My dad's Samoan and my mum's Italian. Growing up, he'd, like, he disciplined me a lot, um, get me out training, just kept me in my own lane, you know. He was really good, he didn't let me like go party or nothing. He just always wanted me to train. That's what sort of makes me who I am today, just hard work and that. Started playing footy when I was about seven years old for um, a local footy club called Raymond Terrace Roosters. And then, yeah, just uh, played there for about four years and then moved to uh, West Newcastle Rosellas. I uh, went through the juniors at nights for a bit, um, 16s and then 18s, and then got an opportunity at the Sharks um, and then took it up, sort of left, left home, left Newcastle, and then yeah, went from there. It was pretty good. I wanted to just um, yeah, take every opportunity that, that comes at me. Uh, so after the our SG ball season was cut short due to COVID, I was about round seven, I think, for um, the Sharks, and then I got told I have to like just go back home um, to Newcastle because the comp got cancelled. It was good, like I had the choice to um, play under 19s, but I wanted to get up versus older men. You know, um, the physicality was so much better, and there's a couple of, like more experienced players up there, so especially the Newcastle comp is pretty strong. Um, and then Joe rang me up here and gave me an opportunity. I took it straight away. And I got a couple of friends that are, are happy for me. So I just want to yeah, make, do, make do them proud. The training and the people that I was surrounded by sort of built me into like a stronger person. And especially in like around football, um, like playing with the bigger boys um, helped me in defense and that. Um, and yeah, now they just taught me a lot. So that's what I sort of uh, bring towards this club here. I knew this, that South is a massive club, but the respect level and the pride that the, the players have this club, it's such a home, this club, you know. Um, it's like a family club. I'm loving it here, you know. It was great to hear from Romano there and can't wait to see what he does in the uh, Rabbitohs jersey uh, in the seasons to come. Looking ahead to our games this weekend, some much needed boys in our New South Wales Cup and our jersey flag uh, as they look to uh, overcome some niggling injuries and just have a bit of a break with uh, coming into the big last two months of the season. And our women will play their final match of the year uh, on Saturday at Lipcom Oval uh, up against the Tigers. Please, as always, make sure you check the website uh, for further details.